So my name is Macaulay and I'm studying an MBiol or an Integrated Master's degree in Marine and Freshwater Biology here at Aberystwyth. My area of research is focused around litter in our oceans. So in particular, I'm looking at whether or not artificial structures, such as the one that's next to me here, um, accumulates and retains more litter than natural rocky shores. We've all seen distressing pictures in the news and the media of the large amounts of litter that's accumulating in our seas and oceans. Undertaking research in this area has given me an opportunity to actually make a difference and try and pose some solutions to this problem. So my research has entailed sampling 12 artificial structures and 12 natural rocky shores all around the coast of Wales. So we've undertaken a litter survey on them to see what litter is present. Um, this data has then been compared across the artificial and the natural structures to see whether or not the artificial structures are accumulating more. And then furthermore, I've been provided with a large data set from the EcoStructure project that's comprised of um, a lot of drone data and aerial imagery that I can then use to look at such things as structural complexity and topography. So the bumpiness of the structure, for example, the size of the voids, uh, the slope, various things like that. So far we've discovered that artificial structures are accumulating significantly more litter than natural rocky shores. Um, I'm currently working on looking at how structural complexity and topography is influencing this. I'm also carrying out repeat surveys just down the road at Borth um, to look at whether or not these structures are actually retaining the litter that's collected in them to make sure they're not washed in in one side and washed back out in the next. The significance of this is the potential to propose new management techniques that could potentially remove more litter from the marine environment. So the way to look at it is to think of these structures as a rubbish bin. We put rubbish in a rubbish bin, it then gets taken out by the garbage men and disposed of. And it's a similar scenario here, so if we know that the, the sea is basically dumping litter in these structures, putting litter in these structures and it's accumulating there, if we remove it from these structures we're going to act like the bin bin and actually we're going to remove more litter from the marine environment in the long term, which could have quite a lot of global significance. 